Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Terra Cosmetic Guide with me, Mioni of Ace Games TV. Today I am back on the live servers of Terra Online and I'm showing off the Collector's Edition accessories and skins in the game. So firstly we have this rather fetching bandit eye patch. These items are all claimed in game uh, once you have the Collector's Edition. There's a few issues uh, with them being able to be claimed on new characters a while back. Fortunately that's been fixed and now you can claim these on a level 1 character if you so desire. So I'm able to show you all of them today thankfully instead of just a few. So the second one here is like a balaclava that goes on your face like a bandit outfit. There are only three accessory uh, items that you get and these all fit into the cosmetic slots of your character. They don't replace an active armor slot on your character at all which is a really good thing and a lot of games could be learning from this system. Uh, because it means that you can basically make your character look how you want instead of having to do it how the game wants, which is great. So I'm just showing you the menu here. This shows that you can claim all of the items in game. So this is the final item. This is a set of blue rimmed glasses. These are pretty awesome. Uh, again, these are also claimed in the same system and they fit in the same cosmetic slot. Unfortunately, you can't have this, the eye patch, and the bandana on at the same time. They all fit in the same slot. Uh, the head slot, but uh, never, nevertheless they are pretty awesome anyway and you probably wouldn't want to have them all equipped anyway. But that's not to say you can't equip these with the weapon skins. And talking of weapon skins, let's kick this off with the first one. And so you may have noticed that I've actually had something a little bit different on my back. That's right, I'm using a book on my back. This is a new weapon skin, specifically for the Sorcerer. All these weapon skins are specific to the particular class that they are. So there's one for every single class. And the one for the Sorcerer replaces the disc with a book. And this book has some pretty neat animations. For example, where you saw that, I cast a spell, uh, the, the giant arcane sphere, and basically it opens a book and the, the pages of the book flap around. It's pretty awesome, really. I, I really like the time and effort that's been put into this particular item. Sometimes you have occasional uh, animations where pages will fall from the sky. Uh, that's an added little feature. I'm not sure what animation causes that, but it's pretty awesome. So I'm just trying to get a front view of it but uh, when I'm using it. But the camera angles are notoriously difficult to, uh, to, to manipulate in Terra Online. But yeah, that's the new Sorcerer Weapon, the book. So let's quickly move on to the next one and I will show you all of these today. So jumping onto my Lancer, we've got a sword and a shield here instead of a conventional, you know, lance and shield. So this basically has the same animations as the lance would normally do. You can still thrust with the sword, you can still do all of the charges and other moves with this. It just has a really different uh, appearance and looks rather cool actually. I'm rather impressed with this particular skin. It's a lot better detail than a lot of the others, actually, I think. Uh, a lot of time was put into this. And again, this is available at level 1 onwards, so you'd be strange not to use this if you have access to it. Again, this fits into the weapon cosmetic slot. There's only one of those per character anyway, so obviously um, there are no other uh, weapon skins available, as far as I know, until the shop comes in. Uh, when that comes in is up to Frogster to decide, I'm afraid. But uh, yeah, so this is the only weapon skin available from the Collector's Edition. It looks pretty awesome, um, but I have a few concerns with the animations. Sometimes it looks a bit weird when you're doing some of the charges and uh, other things with the sword. Um, obviously, you're supposed to be using a lance. But then again, it's still pretty awesome. Anyway, so let's move on to the next one. So here we are on my archer, my level 1 archer, just to show you guys. I don't actually have an archer usually at all. Uh, not my particular cup of tea, and I haven't had much time to play on. So here we are with Claim the Item. It's a little bit different than the rest. They tried to make these weapon skins uh, different than what you would usually use for each uh, particular class in the game. But the archer is a little bit different. It's pretty much the same. It's a bow. There's, there's not a lot you can do with a bow. It would have been nice to see something like a, maybe an arbalist or a crossbow. But uh, no, they went with a, a like a bladed. Um, I guess it's a, a like a bladed, two-handed sort of glaive type thing that can fire arrows. So yeah, I suppose it is a bit different, but. Uh, yeah, it's still a bow at the end of the day. It would have been nice to see some variation there. 
So yeah, let's move on to the next one. We're here we are on my level one warrior. Again, I don't have a warrior of any high level. Uh, fortunately, they allowed uh, these skins to be accessible on level ones, otherwise I would have had a, a massive problem showing you guys. I've already tried to make this video twice so far, uh, only to find out that I can't access these things. But fortunately, I can now. So here we are. Just trying to find it. There we go. There it is. It's on the first page. So let's get this bad boy and see what it's like. So warriors use two-handed, uh, well, one-handed swords. And here we are. This is the difference. Uh, basically like a mace and an axe, both one-handed. Um, rather interesting, this, actually. So instead of having two one-handed swords, you've got a, an axe and a mace. Kind of an interesting combination. Looks pretty awesome. Uh, animations flow well with this one. It's understandable, you know, there's, there's no problems like there is with the Lancer, where things look slightly out of place. It's really quite nice models, these as well. They're not too shabby. Um, looking pretty good. So, yeah, that's the Warrior skins. So let's move on again to something a little bit different. Moving on to now the Slayer. So the Slayer uses uh, two-handed broadswords and things like that. Now, interestingly for this one, they decided to add a mace skin. So here we are, a two-handed, like, bludgeon thing. Looks kind of interesting. It extends out uh, once you use it. It's not always that small. Uh, like that. A bit like the Lancer. Uh, Lancers always extend when they're actually used in combat. Basically because if you have that on your back all the time, it would look a bit odd on your character model. And the same applies to this. Uh, so this mace shrinks and comes out quite large. It's a bit, uh, bit weird, this one. I'm not sure I completely agree with this. It's uh, like swinging a massive totem pole around. Not particularly sure that works, but there you go. It's got some nice decals on it with a skull. So moving on to the Berserker now. So Berserkers used massive two-handed axes, you know, that they swing around and destroy things with. And for the uh, Berserker, they decided to use a giant bludgeon. Again, there's a thing with maces in this skin pack. And uh, for the Berserker, you get this very nice, it almost looks a little bit like, um, a bit of like Sulfurus, the size that Sulfurus should have been in World of Warcraft. But uh, as you can see there, it extends again from the character model, because it would look a bit daft. Uh, this is also, I think, the same skin as the, uh, like the, the blacksmith in one of the quests in the game. I could be wrong there, but there's this blacksmith quest where he creates this giant weapon. It looks very much the same, but uh, it's definitely awesome, that. I love that. The colours on it and, and everything. That's probably one of my favourite out of the whole of the uh, collection of skins this time around, and hopefully in the next pack we'll see something equally as awesome. So moving on to the Priest now, we're on the last two classes, Priest and Mystic. So for the Priest you wield massive two-handed staves. Uh, I've got a Baraka Priest here, so let's have a look what the stave looks like. Now, I was a little bit disappointed with this particular model. I expected something like, I don't know, uh, Benediction. But uh, instead, we get something like that. Just a normal sort of crook staff, uh, like a shepherd's staff. Which is okay, and um, is interesting, but it's nowhere near as epic as like the two-handed maces or the, the sword and the shield. So I think Priest pretty much got quite shafted in this deal, to be honest. And Mystics also, which I'll show you in a few seconds. But, uh, yeah, the animations aren't really affected by the stave this time around, so they could have done something quite interesting with it, but instead they chose not to do so, which is a failure on Frogster and uh, the, the, the developer of Terra Online's uh, problem there. Moving on to the Mystic now, here we go. Now, I think the Mystic's got a little bit shafted. They use little, like, bludgeony things, uh, like little... Um, I don't know what you call them, scepters. There we go. But for the scepter, they decided to have like a, like a railway spike or something. It's just like a little spike on your back. It's not exactly incredible to look at, I'll be honest. Um, Mystic certainly got a little bit shafted in terms of design here. It was definitely an afterthought, in my opinion. Now, if I was designing a scepter for a, 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 a user of magic, I'd be using something with like a giant gem on the top of it, you know, with a big sort of spiky shaft on it, no puns intended, but uh, that's that's what the mystics get, that wooden thing with gold bits on it. Not 
especially amazing. So if you've enjoyed this video and you would like to see more, make sure you subscribe above to Ace Games TV. And this has been another Terra Cosmetic Guide from me, Mioni, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.